Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Innal hamdanillahi nahmadu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'gfir Wa na'udhu billahi min syururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina Man yahdihillahu falamudillala Wa man yudlil falahadiyala Ashadu la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi syrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqadatan min lisani yafkahu qawli amma ba'du Alhamdulillah All praises be to Almighty God who has given us all the sustainers which we need Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Thumma alhamdulillah Thumma alhamdulillah I hope all of you all over there are good in health And alhamdulillah We have opportunity All of you have the opportunity to hear my discussion On subject hadith In babul jami' fi, Sorry, in kitabul jami' Fi babil adab InsyaAllah For this week's kuliah zuhur at Masjid Al-Falah and we'll continue with our discussion today's hadith wa'an ibn Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qal qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la yuqimu ar-rajulu ar-rajula min majlisihim thumma yajlisu fihim walakin tafassahu wa tawassahu mutafakun alihim Narita Ibn Umar radhiyallahu an Allah's Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said a man must not make another get up from his place and then occupy it himself but you should spread out and make room hadith agreed upon so this hadith has been recorded by Imam Al Bukhari and Imam Muslim rahimahumullah taala So this hadith Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says a man must not make another get up from his place and then occupy it himself. The author himself says this hadith states that if a person happens to occupy a space in a mosque or any other place which is not owned by anyone, the space thus occupied belongs to him alone. Example, no one has the right to remove him from it. So actually this hadith means, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, a person if he sits down, And that is an empty space. Nobody owns that space. Once you sit down, we have no right to ask that person to move. I mean to get up from the space, from his place. Okay, move over here means to get up from there. But if there's a space beside him, we can ask him to move. The verse says, Walakin tafassahu wa tawassahu. Which means to spread, should spread out and make a room. So when we bring it to most context, okay, every place except from Imam's place and we know the Muazzin's place. Besides that, all other place nobody own it. Whoever comes first, they deserve the place. Okay, there are two situation. Sometimes we have invited guests in the mosque. And the place been reserved. And if a jama'ah, okay, a jama'ah, a regular jama'ah for that mosque, if he goes there, okay, he will know the difference between the place been reserved or not. Some mosques they will put extra sajada. And they make announcement today we have some invited guests coming. So. We should understand the situation, okay, and we we give that maybe about maybe they reserve three sejada, so we don't sit on that three sejada, okay. Uh, in some countries, we know some of the very very important person, something like the king or what, so they have some security over there. So we should understand that this is for security purposes. For example, same thing goes. If it is for the invited imam, maybe for example parking lot, 
Uh, this is out of the mosque, which is at the parking lot. Sometimes some people who's driving, most of them they know, because there's some cone or some what they call it, the cone with written signage, ah, huh? written uh, hotips parking. But some of them will just simply remove it and they go and park there. And the reason they give Ustad, this is everybody's place. Everybody have the hug to park. Correct. Everybody have the hug to park. Just imagine if that Im invited Imam is unable to park and is unable to conduct the prayer on time. So how? So we should always be consider consideration. Okay. Certain place we have reserved. That means that's for special. Okay. Uh, so if you are regular jama'ah for that mosque, we will understand. Uh, or oh, for jama'ah, for example, there is a place being reserved beside the muazin. Maybe for the mosque imam to stand by. In case if the khatib, I mean the imam for Friday prayers or Eid prayer, anything happens to him, this imam can replace him immediately. Okay, so the hadith over here is very clear. If the place, even the author explains that if the place has not been reserved, that means the place is nobody's. Then, tafaddal. Who comes? First come, first serve. But if the place been reserved, uh, and how we know it's reserved? Uh, some mosses, they put the rehal, the wood on top, you put the Quran to recite. Some mosques, they put some white paper, okay, they put the reserve there. But still, people would remove it off and they just sit. So, remember, my dear brothers, we understand the hadith well. Okay, yes, it's for everybody, but it's been reserved, then we move. And if we enters to the mosque, maybe for Juma prayer especially, we come late due to some reason, it's okay. But we are going to the front of an adab. Do not kick the people, push the people. Uh, if the khatib ready begin the prayer, sorry, uh, the khatib ready begin his sermon, then it's not right for us to crawl over or cross over people in a way that to tell people, excuse me, excuse me. When the khatib is delivering his sermon, we are not allowed to speak. Not even to tell people, keep quiet. It's very clear the hadith where the muazzin will recite it out before the khatib begins his khutbah. So, we understand the reward for those who pray in the front row. But if we come late, be patient. Sometimes we overlook of the ethics, adab. We look only on the reward. But if our adab is not being taken care of, let me ask this question and we answer to ourselves. If the adapt is not been taken care, not well taken care of, you think will Allah SWT reward us even though we are in the first half if the adapt of we just cross over people, hitting people, we hit people, or we are disturbing people who listen to the khutbah. The same thing goes to people who goes to the mosque, who park the car, as they like the car or motor blocking other people all these things that's why in this bulugul maram why i start from bab uh, kitabul jami fi babil awal uh, fi babil adab first because we must understand the adab my dear brothers and sisters in islam if we are going we want to receive uh, reward from allah subhanahu wa but our adab is not very clear our adab is not correct how i always remind myself and everybody People see Islam through us. The way how we behave. We can be a person be very knowledgeable. We can be a person who is less in knowledge. A person will not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not look at a person through his appearance. Inshallah, we will be going through that hadith. Where Rasulullah SAW will point his finger when the Sahaba asked him is point to the heart. Allah will look at your heart. Allah will not look at a person's appearance. You can have a long beard. 
Your beard can be full of black or full of white hair or whatever is it. You can be wearing a sarban, turban. How many layers? You can be wearing jubah on top. You wear all kind of coats. But Allah will not look at that kind of appearance. Allah will only look at your heart. Which means your intention. Even you have a lot of knowledge. But you did not practice it. Same thing. Zero. So remember my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. So we must understand. What we do. Remember. Don't be saying that I have the right. So I behave in this way. That is very very wrong. The first hadith remember. Hakul Muslim ala Muslim situn. Right. Over a Muslim upon another Muslim. Sometimes we overlook right. We are talking about our heart, but how our behavior towards other people. I believe the previous hadis we have discussed. Okay, about Rasulullah SAW. Rasulullah What is beer? Al beer, huwa khulukul, khulukun nas. Get a character, a good character of a human. So that's why. So this this or more situation, but outside, same thing goes. Okay, and someone who sit down, we never ever ask the persons to stand up. Ah, this one normally when we see, okay, when we see, especially children who sit down, we ask them, wake up, wake up, wake up. Let that man sit. No. Unless if. The elderly really needs the seat. Then we seek the permission of that person. Excuse me, can you please kindly permit to give up your seat to this person who really needs? We don't order them. Because the person is seated and the seat is not being reserved unless the seat reserved like in MRT, for example in uh, bus, their seat reserved and for this category people and they are who's healthy who's sitting there. Okay, and this elderly man bought the bus, so we can ask the person, excuse me, can you please stand up? He needs to sit because that place has been reserved. Okay, but a place which is not being reserved, we don't ask people to stand up for this. We seek their permission because that place is nobody's place, and he is the first one to sit, first come first serve. But let we ask our heart. There's a one elderly man comes there, and that place is a general place, and you sit on it. You see him, you act to sleep. You put, you act, you are sleeping. Ask yourself, okay, what you are doing is it right? Oh, start the hadith says only the place has been reserved. Then I give to give to him. If not, I know don't give. Okay, my dear brothers and sisters, Islam. We don't follow hadith. Oh, this is the word the hadith says. For right and what is things which is not that right we can do, okay. And the hadith is not telling us so oh, you don't give up a seat which is not reserved. But there are certain things. For example, in a first saf in solah, you see someone comes. Maybe you think the person is more pious than you. Then you give the person to go first saf, you go second saf. You are wasting reward. You are wasting reward. Huh. Okay. But when you talk about seat. You will gain more reward. You are offering your seed to someone who needs it more. You are helping. That's called sadaqah. Okay, amal jariya. You are helping someone. Okay, my dear brothers in Islam. So remember that it's very very important for us to know how we apply things. Okay, by reading the hadith, following it technically, we will never know when to apply. We will be using this reason, which is for unvalid situations. Or not suitable situations, okay. Uh, so, this hadith is teaching us that if a place which is not been reserved, that is for everybody. If it's been reserved, that means for a particular person. If it's not been reserved, we can use for anybody. So it's uh, it's an open space, open place where we can sit. But we need, we think someone needs it more, we give up to that person. If not, then we reserve. That if not, we can use the place. If someone who's sitting there, maybe a, a young boy, an elderly person comes, we tell we we can we explain to the boy and we seek his permission. Not we order him. Hey, wake up, wake up! Let the elderly man sit. That place is not reserved for elderly person. So it's a anybody's place. Okay. Now this one normally we overlook. We elder, we adult, 
children we just simply ask them to stand up because this is for them no that's not the right so this hadith is teaching us it's a open space same in the mosque normally for juma prayers or eight prayers maybe for any talk any lecture when we go there we sit suddenly we see someone who's standing if we can move we can let someone enter in that stuff we can do that we don't ask anybody to stand up we don't ask anybody to go behind oh you're a young boy you go behind the elder guy should come in front no first come first serve okay according to this hadith okay unless you're talking about the first serve who should stand behind the imam uh, let a knowledgeable person in fake those who have memorized some surahs uh, that kind of person stand behind why if in case anything happened to the imam or the muazzins or both of them so the person who should go to the front they are somewhat knowledgeable if an unknowledgeable person is going to stand behind the imam or beside the muazzin if anything happened to the uh, imam imam parted or maybe imam fainted or whatever so it's going to continue with the prayer the muazzin also not don't you know how the right and the left of the muazzin also don't you know so people see right and left and nobody is going to continue so you see this scenario can happen so that's why for that kind of maybe behind the uh, uh, imam uh, muazzin and left maybe three right three maybe this six of them or seven of them Someone is knowledgeable in fiqh, someone knowledgeable, uh, memorized uh, Quran and well versed in Quran. The citation. Let that kind of person who stand over there. Let me say that that is okay, no problem. Okay, because there's someone to assist the imam in case if the imam makes mistakes or imam forget something. Uh, but if you talk about second row, third row, fourth row, all these things, or maybe the first row at the side, there's a young boy who stand there, maybe a 13, 14 year old boy. Then after you see one elderly person, hey, you go be friend. The elderly person come from no. We can seek his permission if he wants. He let no, no. But we can't order him. No, no. He go behind. No way. Okay. So some of them people overlook. Okay. We must understand if their place is uh, not been reserved, anybody can take it. We can ask the person to move to give space or make space, make room. We don't ask the person to leave that place. Unless the person himself leave the place. Remember, if you wake up, you are going to toilet. Then the place is anybody's. Unless you can ask someone to reserve it for you, but the solar is having a start. Or the program is not yet start. For example. If the solar is come out, then you farted or you need to go and pee, then you are going off. You can ask someone to reserve because the ikam is, uh, is, is uh, the muazin is uh, calling the ikama. So someone need to move and occupy the stuff. So we should understand. Oh, reserve means I reserve the place. I go. You're going to make a big business. Everything. The toilet going to take about 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Then the solar going to start. Nobody's allowed to stand there. No. Okay. We must be very clear. We must understand. Even you are, if, unless you are going behind to take something, you're going to come back. That is a different story. So you put something over there to mark that is a reserve. There's place been reserved. Okay. So it's very very clear, we understand, I hope after this, whoever listened to this hadith So after this, whoever, when the mosque is opened, when you go, please have this humanity Okay, my experience, I worked in the mosque before So like when we always put a cone, we block for reserve for parking, some people simply, they just go in Okay, please my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, please we have good adab, good character we our intention to come to the mosque to do ibadah we want to earn more reward uh, because you will get iktikaf of reward and everything but by we having this kind of akhlaq you know our reward over here we gain at the end the reward goes down also so we are in a big waste so please we take care of our dam first come first serve always remember this thing but if the place been reserved we don't disturb the place uh, if the place is not been reserved first come first serve and if you are going to ask someone anything, please seek the person's permission. Unless the place been reserved, then the person has the right to leave the place because the place been reserved. If not, whoever comes, you take it. That is your place. That's first come, first serve. Wallahu alam bisawab. Inshallah, next week we will continue with our next hadith. Thanks a lot for listening to my small sharing session. I hope, inshallah, all of y'all. I'm very clear about my uh, explanation. So thanks a lot. Wallahu alam bisawab.
May Allah SWT is all our affairs And may Allah SWT safeguard and give us a good health And save us from all the waba. Amin Ya Rabbal Alamin Let's end this class by Sadi Tazbeka Fraswatu As Subhanakallah Ma Bihamdika Shadi La Ilaha Illa Anta Astaghfirullah Atubu Ilaik Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Wa Al-Ansu Inna Sana Fi Khus Lalla Dina Aman Wa Amlu Salihati Wa Tawasab Al-Haqqi Wa Tawasab Al-Sabr Akulu Qawli Adha Wa Astaghfirullah Lazim Ali Wa Lakum Wa Bilaita Al-Fi Al-Daya Wa Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh